With the first pick in the 2020 WNBA draft, the New York Liberty select Sabrina Ionescu from the University of Oregon. Well, no surprise here, Sabrina Ionescu becomes the first overall pick of the 2020 WNBA draft. I mean, just an absolutely dynamic talent. Rebecca. Yeah, and an incredible co and competitor. As impressive as the numbers are, 17 and a half points a game, nine assists a game, eight and a half rebounds a game, and all the triple doubles. It's her competitive fire that separates her. She is a winner, a killer when she's on the floor. She thinks the game at a high level. She is elite in the pick and roll, whether it's delivering to teammates or scoring herself. At 5'11", great vision to see her teammates and find them, hitting them at exactly the right time. This is a player the New York Liberty can build their team around. A rebounder from the guard position. She gets in there, as I said, almost nine rebounds a game. This player is going to have an immediate impact in the WNBA. Sabrina Ionescu is the number one overall pick. Hey, Sabrina, the wait is over. Congratulations. Welcome to the New York Liberty and the WNBA. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Congratulations on being the number one overall pick. Uh, we want to take you back first to a moment when you were 12 years old. Take a look and a listen here to you spelling out your dreams when you were 12. Overall, I have valued all my basketball experiences and I'm looking forward to many more. My family has always been there for inspiration to keep pushing and one day become a WNBA player. <laughs> Pretty cool to hear 12-year-old Sabrina outline what turns out to come true on this day. Sabrina, I, I know you've talked about and you talk with Holly during the week about how, you know, even though, yeah, you hear you're going to be the number one overall pick, there's still some nerves. So what was it like experiencing this moment, finally hearing that you are the first pick of this year's draft? Yeah, I mean, it's a blessing, and I'm just blessed to be able to spend this time with my family, my coach, and uh, Bill Duffy. And so I'm just really blessed to be able to be in this position that I've worked so hard for my entire life. Sabrina, you're a West Coast kid from California, played at Oregon. Now you're going to be coming across the country. What are your thoughts on coming to New York and playing for the Liberty? Yeah, I've only been to New York twice, but I'm really excited to be able to, to get to Brooklyn and um, just enjoy the city and, and start playing. Sabrina, we have talked about this. Um, Diana Tarazi said she recognizes something in you. And that is a hunger because your family are immigrants. You are a first generation American is how will that hunger drive you in a, a beautiful city like New York, full of immigrants who can embrace you and love you? Yes, I mean, I'm just excited for the opportunity. I'm, I'm going to enjoy this for a couple of days, but I'm just excited to get out there and start working and uh, get get to know my team, get to know the coaching staff and really just get to work. You told me that one of the areas you were the most proud of that you grew in this year at Oregon was your leadership. Now with Tina Charles being traded away, you will be the face of that team and the leader of that team. How will that leadership skill you've honed this year help you hit the ground running as a leader for New York? Yep. I mean, I've grown in, in the leadership category through my four years at Oregon, and I'm going to continue to grow in that category as I enter the league. So I'm just excited to learn from the players that are there and, and make new friendships and, and continue to grow in, in every aspect of the game. All right, Sabrina. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Congratulations on being the number one overall pick, and we cannot wait to see you playing for the Liberty this season. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.